Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex. We are playing some more Subnautica. Um, resource collection, refining, and kicking ourselves quietly for how mismanaged our resource game has been up to this point. Now, okay, I uh, it hasn't been that bad. It hasn't been great, granted, but it hasn't been that bad. I uh, da, 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 put all this quartz away. Jesus. Do I have a second one for quartz? Nope. Okay. Titanium. Pull that out. Put the construction tool away because I'm actually paying more attention to management now. There we go. Quartz number two. Now, better management, uh, better organization. I should have built two of these. Quartz above quartz, copper above copper. But when I was doing this, I couldn't even imagine the idea of filling up one of these, let alone more than one of them. Of course, now it's increasingly obvious to me that they should pretty much all be full all the time, and me not doing that is uh, subpar play. That's alright. Silver, there's that copper wire. I guess we'll keep the copper wire on us. Uh, I need food. Here, going here, going here. Knife. Cut the first marble melon. One, two, three. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Now you. One, two, three, four. Did I eat all three of those? I probably didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh well. Table coral. Table coral and basically anything else I can get my hands on. There might be some on this face. There is not. Is there anything down in this cave? Nope, just explodey boys. Oh, maybe, but there are explodey boys, and I don't want to do that. I say as I go in here. Sweet. Yeah, I'm intentionally ag growing. Cool. So we get to the end of here, we gather all of this, and none of it's table coral, I know. And we don't really need more quartz, right? Yeah. So let's ignore all this pretty, pretty quartz. Hopefully find more copper. Titanium's not bad. Titanium's almost never a bad thing to find, but it's not what we are immediately in need of. Titanium, titanium, titanium. Copper is that? There we go. Do, do, do. Um, not a, there should be another hole far end of this. Off to the right side, maybe? No. Huh. I could have sworn that this led deeper. Actually, it may right here. Yep. Ooh, that's gonna hit. <laughs> that didn't hit. Wow, okay. Lucky me. Is there anything I need in that corner of the cube? No. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go, that one. Copper. Alright, we are not out here for copper, though. We are out here for this. Oop. Grab it. Grab it. How many more can I have? Oh, plenty more. I'm just gonna make a whole table coral box because I know you need it for computer chips and you need those for a lot of things. Oh! Ah, that's cool. I didn't realize these could split in half and you would get twice as much. Well, if I knew how I did that, I would be doing that to all of these. I'm pretty sure it's just random luck. How we doing? Pretty good. Get some air. Who needs air? I need air, but not at this present moment, so... Does that go deep? Yeah. Okay. Grab. Oh, and there's definitely enough here to fill up our inventory, which is... You know, not absolutely necessary at the present moment, but... It saves me on going out again. 
been doing it. Get coral. Six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, we are full. We can head back home. This is not a direct line home, but it'll get us there. No sea glide means we're not going to be doing this super fast. So getting table coral means we can make that second computer chip, means I can get the HUD upgrade, which won't actually do us very much good right now. It'll make it easier to get more resources, so we can finish upgrading these <laughs> and uh, more easily build a deep operating base so we can... <laughs> Excuse you, <laughs> game. <laughs> so, that we... So we can get stuck on top of this charger, apparently. What the fuck? Um, so that we can set up a recharging station down there. Um, lesson learned, this was a terrible place to put this. I can just build a new one right here. And... I imagine we won't get stuck on this one. We may, but not too worried about it. Okay, so, 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 so. Blood oil, yeah. Table coral. Table cora. Nope. Four. One, two. I need gold. 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 All right, cool. Computer chip. For me. And I totally forget what else I need here. God damn. Yeah, that's why it would have been nice to have this. Oh, I need another gold. <laughs> go. Gold. Still pretty short on gold. That's okay. Our HUD is gonna just explode. That's okay. Now we need a compass as well. Oh god. <laughs> okay. A compass. Get with copper wire, which we can get, and a wiring kit. Wiring kit is made out of two silver. I do not currently have two silver. I have zero silver. Please, please, please have silver. Oh god, we're low on everything. <laughs> Just, nope, have enough of that. Nope, have enough of that. Nope, mm, nope. Um, comp comp compass? Comp compass. The compass doesn't do much, but it gives you this. And that's pretty nice. The north, south, east, west at the top of the screen. Okay. <clears throat> Copper. Now, let's start thinking in terms of upgrade. Seamoth is good to go. The big boy outside, not so much. Let's take a look at what else we need for you. What even we all have built on you. Do I have the lights on? No. Wasteful, but not that wasteful. Emergency power only. Your thing, buddy. Oxygen production offline. Yup. I know. Alex was like, man, what if we what if we charge the old power cells off of the new power cells? Won't that work great? Uh, cool. Death module 2, I think, is as good as it gets for you. I might actually go all the way to 3. Let's see. Ah, okay. Blueprints. Are you in blueprints? Not helpfully, no. Okay, I think that we're good. I think. Here is. Do plants require power to grow? Gotta 
find out. If they do, we're gonna get rid of this. If they don't, very happy to keep that around. Uh, hmm, hmm. Can I change the name of the... Oh yeah, it already is. Let's do this. Because all caps can look better sometimes. Only, only sometimes. Now, half jokingly, I had the idea of just running these cables all the way down to where we're going. And instead of building a whole new power source up there. Or down there. Welcome Trust me, I know that captain. sounds ridiculous, but like huh? also it sounds kind of fun and stupid to do, so I'm seriously considering doing it. Alright, Jesus Christ. I need to I need to stop this. I can't see. I can't see anything. Um what are we low on? Find me sandstone. I need silver. Please god. Oh, oh that's better. Okay, let's get food. One, two, three. Cool. Cut. Cut. Oh. Sweet. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Yeah, uh, with Marble Melon, you really have no need to purify water the way I was doing before. I feel a bit foolish for doing that now. <clears throat> so what I need is more gold. <laughs> Substantially more gold. And more titanium. More gold is something that'll come fairly easily. I have an idea of where I want Welcome aboard to L Systems Online. start. Let's get rid of those mushroom beacons because I have no need to go there. It's two waterfall. Yeah, this ghost tree is where I want to build our new base, which I know is not the most inventive thing, but I dig it. These might not actually be the closest entrances, but this seems to be the closest to those, so entrance one is what I should probably stick with. Probably. I, God, I wish there were a drill in this game. I know terraforming used to be a part of this game, but just that it wasn't very balanced and wasn't super well implemented, so they done away with it. But god, it would make me so happy just to be able to dig a hole straight down there, which I know is the entire reason that they didn't include it, because that's not balanced and not fun, necessarily. Let's see what I have in here. Have we been in here? We have not. That or it reset during the last patch. Who knows? Pop you open. Alright, well, I think I've scanned all this stuff before. In fact, there's, like, nothing in here. The <laughs> Got some cool sand clipping through the wall here. Uh... Great. Great use of time. <laughs> It rate is crashing. Fairly sure that is because <laughs> my partner is getting some graphic design work done and uploading some pretty big files. <laughs> no biggie. There's nothing critically exciting going on right now. Just hit me hitting every single fish between me and where I'm going. This is really the entrance I want to go for. And I guess it works. Um, I presume I've been in here. I assume I've been in all of these. But I don't know that as a fact. So, yeah, I've been in here. Has the loot respawned, though? Sure has. Not, damn. <laughs> no, I don't want to... I really wish it were more difficult to access your upgrades because that mistake happens a lot. It's the same reason that I took the 
took the uh, <laughs> storage off of this stupid thing is when I'm swimming at the sea moth and frantically clicking at it, I want to enter the sea moth. I don't want to upgrade it. And it might be a bit much to say it should only be upgraded from the terminal in the base, but I mean, why not? Be a bit more irritating to attach and detach things on the fly, but perhaps it should be. Here we go. What kelp forest? Is that what this is? Ah, you see me. That's fine. So we're just going way down here. And we're not grabbing anything. While we're down there, I guess I can grab some nickel. And... Crystal and sulfur. Other stuff. I guess. Yeah, why not? Don't hurt. This is a good marker. Alex, you done good. This is a good marker. Okay. Nope. Fuck off, Warper. Not interested. <laughs> not at all interested. Yeah, this is the one problem with this entryway, is that my two Warpers, one Warper spawns here. As long as you don't pull me out of here, we're cool. So, oh my god, that is awesome. Oh, it doesn't last. Look at this. Oh, okay, it clips at the edge of the cell, but still, still, that is so cool. Uh, now, I should maybe be keeping an eye open for stuff I want to pick up in here, but there's actually plenty in the ghost tree zone. And, I say as I pass some nickel, and it's a hell of a lot calmer in there. Much less murderous. Uh, waterfall, oh. God damn, Alex. This is a great beacon. This is a great beacon, because this points me here, which is what I want to go down. I think. I believe. Which one is this? Ah, this might not have actually been the one I wanted. No, no, it is. It is. I thought it would lead me to this crossroad. Cool. And... This crossroad leads me to the ghost tree, which doesn't have any aggressive stuff in it. it just has these happy little rays. And the lore of the ghost trees that it's an egg for a... Uh, Reaper, but... It never actually hatches, so... Home. This is home now. Specifically, I built a base right here in my other save that worked really well. The geysers down here get up to like 63, 65 degrees, which is good, not great, but good. Um, and what we're doing down here... Is a proof of concept. I'm seeing how far I can stretch the power cables. <laughs> and just try to do the math on how many it would take to run down here. Lower. Oh god. Caps lock. Um. Ghost. Ghost base. Yeah, awesome. So. Ooh. Be back on number one. Not, I'm not expecting this to be fast or immediate. But I am curious how far I can make these go. Pretty far. 60 meters. 70 meters. 80 meters. I guess I could have just checked the wiki to see how long these stretch for. I'm guessing 100 meters. Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, 100 meters. So, I'm going to need at least 20 of these. At least. Aw, oh, don't. Don't do me like that. There, you connect. Now, is it not showing the connecting line between because there's no power or because it doesn't actually go 100 meters? Because there's no power connected to it. Okay. Let's check this. Uh, power transmitter sub nautica. Power transmitter sub nautica. Uh, 
power transmitter, Subnautica is a power module that extends the range of a power source. A power transmitter has a range of about 100 meters. A power line of transmitters can be built to transfer power over long distances. Fragment must be constructed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, so what I'm doing, as stupid as it is, is I'm wiring these up so that I can just set up a base down here and don't have to go through the pain in the ass of transporting enough to put power down here. I can just get power from the surface and wire it down here. Which, um, exciting content? Oh no, no, I don't expect this to be exciting content at all. I expect you to get very disappointed and bored by this, but, uh, dog, I gotta get power somehow, and would you rather watch me make multiple trips where I'm just dropping off one of these after the other, after the other, after the other? Or, there we go. Or, would you rather see me do these stupid, stupid missions where I just drop off power transmitters? For me, it's more fun to dodge around stuff and set up power transmitters than it is, say, to... One, two, two, three... Than it is to, uh... Just play Trucker Simulator. We have plenty of those. Now, granted, I'm going to be doing a bit of both. Excuse me. There we are. Alright, next one is over here, so... I can probably, probably stretch it out here somewhere. The goal is to run it up here. Run it all the way to the fucking surface. Now I wonder I wonder if this actually works well, or if the game starts glitching if you load power from cell to cell to cell and it tries to unload a cell at a time. It may be that this will actually cause issues in that the game wants to unload a cell, but because the power transmitters are in that cell, it may cause performance issues with me having to make things loaded at once, or something like that. Again, I don't know, but I figure this is a interesting opportunity to try to figure it out. Now, I'm thinking I'm further than 100 meters away, but it would make me very happy if I were not now. Wait. Just wiggle this around in the air until there, until that happens. <laughs> and there we go. Again, the reason we're not actually seeing these connect is that there's no power flowing through them. Oh my god, I'm gonna need so much more gold and titanium. Titanium, less of a problem. Gold. Slight problem, but it's not a huge deal. I just need to go back to Mountain Island and get stuff from there. I'm fairly sure that I'm not going to find any gold. Shows what I know. Any gold naturally down here. He says, right before finding some gold. That's the kind of game proving me wrong moment that I like. When it gives me what I'm saying I wish that I had. Uh, da, 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 please stretch to the top. Please stretch to the top. Yeah, alright, cool. Um, God, this is gonna get prohibitively dangerous. <laughs> Ports is very easy to find all over the place, which is... Annoying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, I should probably go back to the mountain, huh? Yeah, so I should. Do 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 do. Oh, where where energy pulse origin? Show me, show me that. Show me that, and okay, we're going out that way then. And I'm glad that I marked deeper as well, because I was actually having trouble finding that on my other playthrough. Which is hilarious, because 
in this cave system, which is the same cave system, I am aware. I seem to know it like the back of my own hand. Pretty silly. <laughs> yeah, stop for that. Gold, no. Gold, gold. I will stop for sandstone just in the off chance of me getting gold from it. But I know that the drop chances are much better from shale than from sandstone. I think, anyway. I actually don't have the table pulled up. I haven't referenced the table, but just going from experience, I think that the odds are better. <laughs> I'm gonna need so many of those. I'm gonna need two or three full loads of gold <laughs> and titanium. Uh, right, I never made the case, and I will not make the case, that this is an efficient way to do this. I just think that it's silly and stupid, and I want to do it. So I'm going to do it. Just run a wire from the surface all the way down. And effectively have every base or outpost or charging post set up along the way be technically part of the same base and part of the same power network. And doing so... Man, why'd I turn off early here? Oh, wow. Not stopping now. And doing so, um... Maybe go <laughs> you having, having some trouble there? Um, I totally lost my train of thought. The weird wiggling there is killing me. Um, it's a right to get out, right? No, it's a left to get out. Have I scanned that this game? I don't think I've scanned that. May have. Is being studied, right? Well, you don't see me. You don't see me? You don't see me. Those, actually, I was saying warpers are the things I'm most afraid of. Now those are really annoying. The ability to shut off your power is incredible. We've been here. Yep. Wait a minute. Now we have it. I was using the wrong tool. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fine. Fuck you. At least they're not blasting it. Shooting it? Or chewing it? Fine, I can fix that. Blasting it? More annoying. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have the exit over here marked. So, nothing else. We're accomplishing that. It goes Ray. It is a little weird how the uh, walls don't load in correctly. Oh god. Oh, I could see. I had the lights turned off. <laughs> uh, oh, Alex. Oh no, silly boy. Okay. Once we get to here. <gasps> oh god. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is why you're my least favorite thing in the game. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. <laughs> I just wanted to leave a beacon <laughs> so I could find my way back down. Alright, fine. I will go a little way. Drop a beacon here. Uh, oh, okay. I'm like, oh no, I'm out of beacons. Entrance four, right? This is one, two. Whatever. Uh, entrance three? <laughs> My naming convention has not been consistent. Okay, now we get out this way. You know, since we're down here, once I'm free of the, uh... God damn it! Oh, 
<laughs> I'm just gonna get juggled. Oh no. Oh no. So the range on that teleport's pretty impressive. Uh, 50 meters? 100 meters? Something like that? Must be one or the other. I just don't know which. Uh, okay. That Uraninite looked pretty weird. Entrance 3. Entrance 3 should be in 3. <laughs> blue, blue. Green, yep. The color we don't have. Um, Pulse Origin is where I want to go. First, I gotta get out of this cave system. There's my exit. I'm gonna get pulled out of here two more times. Okay. Titanium's easy enough to find. To get a lot of titanium, essentially all you have to find are lots and lots of metal because the metal remains, bits, whatever the hell they're called, those can be broken down very easily and very efficiently and you can track for those much more easily. Tracking for sandstone works well enough but you're seeing I have like a 1 in 4 maybe 1 in 5 chance of getting gold out of these. Shale gives better drop odds, but all the same, it's easier to get titanium than anything else. My point is that I'm going to stop by our base, drop off pretty much everything that I have, then go shale hunting for more stuff. This is a very ridiculous idea what I have here, but I really like mega structures. And the idea of making a little mega structure of my own sounds cool and exciting to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There. You go. Reggie, Reggie, sweet, delicious, Reggie, awesome. But that's not actually the reason I stopped. I stopped for this. Copper, I need titanium, I need everything, I need good game design. Very, very good game design. And I mean that. I mean that because uh, what that does is it just makes you come back to regions over and over and over and play over and over and over and keep the, uh, keep the game cycle going. There we go. So we're back in range of... Oh! Good god, we're back in range of our base. So that's why our screen suddenly full of all of these. Is it's very helpfully trying to tell us where to find sandstone chunks. Because that's what I tracked. Blight. This saves me on trying to eyeball it. Now I can just... Pilot to sandstone and get stuff this way. Now, I, I sincerely do believe that it will be faster to go to Mountain Island rather than just go ad hoc as I'm doing here and picking up what I can find this way. But, like I said before, I should never be going back to base unless I have a full inventory or I'm dying. Now, the dying bit, we're actually kind of getting there because of our water shortage. So, I'm trying to get my inventory full to justify it to myself to go back. Lead. Copper. Metal salvage. Again, titanium we will need. The lion's share of what we need to be keeping an eye out for is Welcome gold, aboard, but Captain. we do need the other 50% as well. Huh. Got some really glitchy reef backs in this save. And the previous one. Maybe, maybe reef backs are just glitchy. Maybe.
Mm. So again, the silver's nice. The lead is really the only thing I'm not super excited about here. What do we got? I need four, eight more. All the time I could have saved if I had just gotten this stupid easy upgrade so much earlier. I would have saved myself so much effort of just blindly looking for stuff, but that's okay. That is the game. Exploration is a big part of it. I'm kind of blinded by all of those markers right now. So that's another incentive to just find more and break them. Lead sucks. Lead sucks. Silver, good enough. I need three more. Doesn't look like there's any that way. Mm -hmm. Back up? Yeah, I probably should have just gone back up. And there's some sandstone coming up here. Titanium or copper is both fine with me. Now let's just go back up. Oh! Ha ha ha! This is tricky. Oh, you think this is a way out, but it's not. If I were shorter on air, I'd be panicking, but I'm not. That was cool. Two on top of each other, so we're now full. Now we just gotta remember the way we came in, which I don't, but we have enough air to find it again. Up. Yeah, here we go. Up, and Seamoth is right here. No worries. No worries at all. <clears throat> Back to base. And then, I guess, off to Energy Pulse Island. Uh, I, I think that's the best place to get a fuck ton of gold. I could also just take the, uh... Cyclops out there. And I think... Well, in fact, I know that that can hold more, but Welcome aboard, Captain. it's so much easier just to use this. It charges faster. Yeah. Inventory's full. Right. Right, 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 right. Titanium. All of the little dots on the screen. Uh, it's, it's a very cool upgrade, but damn, does it clutter things up quite a bit. Gold. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Since I'm doing this, I should just start doing it and making a path, and so marking where the end of that path is and updating that every time. Wow, we're doing really good on lead, which is unfortunate because I'm going to be finding a lot more of that. But on lithium? Ah. Oh, Oi. Ay, ay, ay. Do we have a second with you? Oh. I have... Yep, I have construction tool here. Habitat builder with the M2. Oh, if only there were a way to transmute stuff into different stuff. Alas, that is not the game that we are playing. Seek fluid intake. You seek fluid intake. Good. Um, crystalline. Sulfur, 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 sulfur. Silver, 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 silver. Ooh, we got a lot of silver. Right? And that's helpful. Again, not immediately absolutely necessary, but helpful. So, gonna pull out one more titanium and a copper. And I'm going to build a beacon, but this beacon is going to be, is the <laughs> end of our daisy chain up to date. So, let's plug that for a second so I can see. Um, and get some food so I don't die. It's the tedious huh? things, really. Living, breathing, seeing. <laughs> On these basic fundamental human things. One, two, three. Well, 
I suppose, arguably, living is not a fundamental human thing, because we don't die as well. Though, more people are now alive than I've ever lived. Is that, is that true? Is I think it's about 50-50, actually. We've got a lot of people on Earth right now. Um, then all of recorded history, maybe, is how that goes. Uh, anyway. So we want to go to entrance one. That's closer to these, and I'm happier with that. Entrance three, maybe, but where the hell is entrance two? Way out there, so beelining it for this is <laughs> what I should try to aim for. God, this is such a ridiculous premise. And it's not connected. You mean to tell me this is not connected? Okay, first one apparently needs to be pretty close. I know these can stretch up to 100 meters. So it's going to take like 15 just to get there. Then like uh, from there to there we'll take another... <laughs> oh, this is a stupid, hilarious idea. I wonder if we can transmit vertically, right? Like, if I, uh... <laughs> if I got in a situation where I could... vertically drop it down through a cave ceiling into a cave below. Now, I don't think there are any gaps that small, but that would be really, really cool if I managed. Connected, cool. How many more have we got? One more, okay. One more, then I'll surface for air and double back. Thank god these don't have to be a direct line of sight. That would involve a lot more of these. Again, it'd be cool in its own way, but like incredibly annoying in its own way as well. And there's a hundred meters. Nope, nope, nope. Where'd it go? There it is. I drop really fixed it that much, huh? Oh, it's connecting on the bottom. There you go. <clears throat> okay. End of the line. Let's go back to base. Oh, we have a lot of work to do. Install that, grabbing sandstone I can see on the way home. Let's get some air first. And the reason I'm tracking sandstone is that it's it actually occurs in this biome. And it can have gold. <clears throat> Was I? No, I'm not wrong at seeing these. Gold, lead. Oh, I have gold and titanium, right? Alright, let's go push that line back a little bit longer. Grab this because I do need the titanium. Um, boop, 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 boop. Pick up that beacon, because it's a Y now, and keep going towards entrance one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to be so happy when this is done. If it works. If it doesn't work, I'll totally understand why it doesn't work, but I'm going to hate if this doesn't work. <laughs> this. Get these sandstone chunks. Give me gold. Give me gold. Also, I need to drop you. Fortunately, you're already named appropriately. Right end of the line. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gold. <laughs> Extra. Actually, this is going better than I thought it would. Me finding gold along the way means that I can just keep pushing it out, pushing it out. 
Yeah, it makes getting home a little bit harder, but who cares? The goal is not to get home. The goal is to get the fucking wire down there so I don't have to build a second power source. <laughs> Just live off of solar power forever. Ah, uh, that, that, that. Nope. Stalker, be cool. <laughs> Stalkers, be cool. Alright, I need water. Water, air. Same thing. Not at all the same thing, but same thing. It's a start. It's not crazy long, but it's a start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Angry, mad, predator. I should respect you, but I don't. So, what are we doing here? Okay. Pick. You. Nope. Pick up. And let's go. I don't have any titanium. <laughs> Oh, oh god, the humor of that. Okay, I'll find some by the time I'm over there. Boom, titanium. Okay. Nothing to see here, stalker. Nothing to see here. Just setting up my transcontinental power system. Excellent. And now we're so far away that I can't see anything from our sensors. But luckily, I can be creative enough to look for sandstone. Give me gold. Give me gold. 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 Silver. Gold, though. Gold, gold, though. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't make me go all the way back. There we go. And I'm just gonna keep going through here a little bit more, because I know there's more. I want to grab as much as possible. What actually might end up turning me around and forcing me to go back is battery power. Food? Maybe. Water? Maybe, but it's looking like battery power is the thing I'm running out of fastest. Copper. Yeah, Subnautica's a, a really cool twist to the survival game in that it's underwater. <laughs> in all other respects, it's, it's not crazy innovative. But, oh no, Alex, what'd you do? Throw down the beacon, you foolish, foolish boy. Okay, head towards entrance one. It's between you and there. <laughs> okay, I gotta get air. <laughs> oh no. Thank God. All right. <laughs> this is how we find the end of the breadcrumb trail. There it is. I'm so glad this works the way that it works. Otherwise, it would be pretty easy to lose my progress. Uh, I'm, I'm almost entirely positive that the... Uh, yeah, oxygen and jet death make the game interesting. You know, on our planet, and our oceans, if you go below, I think it's 30 meters, your natural buoyancy goes away and you will actually start sinking if you don't swim. Just because you are compressed more at that point, and... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty horrifying for me. But... It's cool. I, uh, I learned that. Yesterday, day before. So right now... My diver's natural state should be sinking, not staying. But I guess he is actually trying to swim, so. And the art style is really, really nice. And surprisingly varied, given how much is in here. No, 
we are scanning that not because we need it, but because it will give us titanium. And we're still going, still going for this entrance. This is so laughable that this is working. Yep, there's that one. And now I need gold. Uh, well, it's it's salt, but it's also you are being compressed so much by the uh, water pressure that your buoyancy no longer makes up for it. Or the... Uh, God, I am not talking well, speaking well today. Up, 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 up. Okay, and throw this. I need air. But I know that there's going to be that there. Yeah, the, the whole evolutionary train of, of what's going on here is really perplexing. Like, um, the deeper down you go, you find stuff that's, uh, supposedly like their equivalent to the dinosaurs, you know, like these utterly massive creatures. And they're just like obscenely massive, like the kind of ecosystem that would need to exist for something as large as those fossils is hard to, um, hard to believe. Makes good fiction though. I mean, there's creatures in this game that mind control you and teleport you and, you know, stuff like that. So, as with any good science fiction, some, um, suspending disbelief is at times necessary. Okay, pick up the beacon, keep going. This is going so much easier than I thought. Yeah, the sea dragons are pretty neat. That they're psychic and can talk into your brain. No, not the sea dragons. The, uh, the, the King Leviathan, Emperor Leviathan. There we go. Sea dragons are just neat. Shooting fireballs and stuff like that is... I haven't actually seen one. I've just seen them on the wiki. Okay. All right. I need gold. But I think we're starting to run out of sandstone, and I'm fairly sure my inventory is almost full, so we might actually be heading back soon. Which is fine. I knew it would happen. I'm actually impressed that I made it out as far as I have. We must have been in here before, right? Must have. <laughs> Yep, we've been in here. Okay. So, I well, made it halfway. Pretty cool. Now, I should bring the sea moth out next time. I didn't realize we'd make it quite so far. Hello, Reginald. Hello. Alex, could you use this sweet food? Now, they don't give much hydration, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, having hollow bones or something. Yep, yeah, that's entirely possible. Or just like... Eh. I, yeah, I don't know. Gravity is largely uh, offset by huh? deep water. Come on, let, let me on. <laughs> but not completely. There we go. I've scanned everything on you before, right? Break Barnacle. What? What? There's breakable barnacles on you? I didn't know this. And they seem to mostly have copper in them. Oh, that's cool. I feel like a... Alright, that doesn't work super well, just because it flies off of it. Are we heading towards my base? Can you, like, go left. Left. Alright. There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, once you get deep enough, um, the buoyancy helps offset gravity a little bit. 
So you can have very big things in the ocean, but even even buoyancy will eventually not allow you to support some of the massive creatures you see in here. And really, uh, I don't think the Subnautica creatures are unbelievably big, particularly because they're oh god, they're there's our UI, <laughs> because we're in the ocean and big stuff does live in the ocean. No, no, you can you can tell me your part of the story or your ideas. I don't mind spoilers at all. And I've read a lot on the wiki. I haven't played it, but man, that line is very visible at night. <laughs> Two hundred out. I almost wish I had brought the Sea Glide, but the Sea Glide would have taken up more inventory space, and I wanted to save that for finding more gold. Which kind of, sort of, worked out. Not super well, but it sort of worked out. Now, I should probably go on that excavation to get a bunch more gold like I was talking about, but... That stupid thing worked out pretty well. <laughs> it was very silly, but that worked out quite well. All right, that was <laughs> it's fun to turn that around. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, this what I'm doing right now might be a huge waste of time. I mean, might it probably is a waste of time, but just given how long it was taking me to cart stuff back and forth using the sea moth, I, I still think for entertainment purposes, it's worth seeing if you can connect it all on the same energy grid. And if you can, that's awesome, because then I just wait till you get to the deepest part, plop down a bunch of thermal generators, and never ever worry about power again. Speaking of, I could actually use more of that right now. Um, let's get rid of most of this titanium. Like I was saying, when we were out there, I think titanium is something I'm not going to have to worry much about. I think it's finding gold that's really going to be the real crux of this. Just as evidenced by how much I just found. Now we're full up on wet, aren't we? Yep, now we are. So I'm going to need a second wet box. Boop, boop. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, planet is flooded. That's true. Or at least suggests at some point that it had lower uh, levels of water. Yeah. It's. I wonder what makes this a good quarantine planet for the uh, the aliens who set up base here, right? Like, for us, it's fun because it's underwater, but. What? What about a water world makes it good for setting up a planetary quarantine? I don't... I don't know if, uh, there's any inherent advantage or disadvantage to setting one up on a water planet. One, two, three, four, four. Um... I did drop end of the line, right? This isn't end of the line, is it? Oh, no. I didn't. Oh, well, we'll find... We'll see it. We'll see it. Pull out that knife. Grab... Up, up. One of you. Two of you. One, two.
think it was just a CDC planet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's the uh, the narrative, and this is good that the narrative is intentionally vague. Does uh, now I was talking a little bit about this earlier. It's really really good to in science fiction fill in a lot of the blanks, but leave your readers or listeners or viewers with more questions than they have answers, because it's those questions that'll keep them coming back and keep them excited. I'm hopping around all of these sandstone chunks to get our first piece of gold. Once we get one piece of gold, then I'll run down to the end of the track, and we'll keep this train going. Let's stop here. And I'm gonna need... that. I haven't played The Forest. I um, I was interested in it for a long time, and then I think it just took too long in development for me. I don't really remember, honestly. Glad. Let's grab these two. Damn it. <laughs> I know gold isn't super common to find on Sandstone. Ah, ha ha! He says as he finds gold. But sandstone is the only thing that can possibly have gold around here, so that's why we're tracking it. And more gold for Alex? No, okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna start heading out there, and hopefully rendezvous with where I should have left that stupid, stupid waypoint. Okay. I should aim for about here, I think. Kelp Force is very pretty, but it also makes it hard to find those tiny blue lines connecting the connections I've laid out already. And there, I think we went right past that. Yeah, we were past this. Act. Try to figure this out. Okay, hop out of here. Work, work for me, please work for me. Yes, God, I love this. All right, so looks like we stopped down there somewhere. Yeah, I could not see this blue line with the naked eye. But luckily, I didn't have to. So, the last one we dropped was right down here. Oh, and of course the line's actually going underground for some of the time. Titanium, cool. One more sandstone. Gold, awesome. Gold is what I need, though. Over you know, I never actually scanned you, Tiger Plant. You're very annoying. There we go. Copper is cool, but not what I want. So... Now that we're back at the end of the line, if you're watching on Twitch, don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. If you're watching on YouTube, you gotta stop by tomorrow, because it's been about an hour. Till then... Yeah.